Okay, a follow up video on the carpet installation on the 1963 Corvette convertible. Um, didn't see anything on the internet about installing carpet in a convertible. So uh, just kind of give you a, an overall view rundown. It actually came out really well. Everything lines up nice. The carpet kit is awesome. Um, the, the welts are really nice. They're in the right place. See, see that over there? There is the uh, kick panel I got covered. There's another kick panel right there that I got covered, I got to install. Floorboards are in. Everything's all up there, nice and tucked in. A little bit of dirt right there. Uh, but the, you can see how the welts and the seams over there are good. Um, now, I didn't put any Dynamat down because this already has foam backing. So I didn't think I needed to do any Dynamat. Um, but I just want to discuss the order of the way that they get glued in because I didn't see anything on the internet that pertained to that. So I just had to figure it out as I went. But so the order of installation, number one, the back piece. Okay, you put that in. Number two, the divider piece, this piece right here, right? Okay, number three is uh, the lower wheelhouses is cover the uh, the body right here and you want these seams right here to when you when you install them you want the seam to follow the contour of the body and you can see on both sides how that's done so you just stretch that pull that make sure it fits all all nice and you have to get it right front the rear otherwise you'll have bare spots where your carpet's not covering so you put that in then you put this in this is this is uh piece that you put in after that and you'll see this in the kit it's got a slit opening for the trim panel that goes for the top that's for two screws right here so you install those both sides okay then you do the backing this is the finish on the backing they're just two little pieces of carpet that go all the way all the way up around on that side too okay so once you got this done, that done, that, or uh, this done and all that. Then you put in your diff cover carpet, okay? Then you do your top piece. You put, lay that in, glue that in over your diff cover and all falls down. Then you can do your tool compartment cover or storage compartment cover, okay? Then, doing the front of the cab, um, did the, the tunnel sides first so this side and that side did those first and then did the outside of the tunnel over there after that so you get those two done and, and here it is on this side then you can drop your main carpet in for your driving compartment and make sure you get them all lined up up there start from the front and pull it down glue it and then pull it back um, pre-fit it make sure you got all good seams and everything so you're your welts are nice and covered and are covering up all the all the stuff that they're supposed to cover. And do that on both sides. Um, come over here. Got a couple of alignment dowels for the, I uh, can't really see it. A couple of alignment uh, pins for the holes for the gas pedal. And then that trim actually lines up pretty well between the floor carpet and the, uh, the, the, the wear guard for the gas pedal so that actually works out pretty well and then you do your side your kick panels you can recover those so there's you do the kick panels and ugh. so I'm gonna let that sit overnight and dry up really good before I put the trim and everything back in and then what I used for the glue and I brushed it which worked really well for me some people spray it I, I like to brush it so that right there is what I picked up at an interior trim supply store. So 3M neoprene contact adhesive five works really, really well. And uh, you know, all you do is gotta get, take your time, uh, glue everything down correctly, and then uh, just start fitting it. But pre-fit it first, make sure you got a good fit for every piece that you put in. And then if you get any spots where um, you get glue on the carpet, let it dry up really good and come back and hit it with some like wax and grease remover and that'll take it off usually. But uh, yeah, 63 carpet convertible, 63 Corvette convertible carpet installation. And back there, um, mine had, 
little pieces of carpet covering those uprights. So I might get a couple of remnants blue and cover that up. I don't know, this is just how the kit came, so those aren't covered. Um, and then of course you get your trim panels once you put my top in, and the top covers up all that anyway, as it folds down, recesses into that compartment right here. Um, and then there's trims that go over that. But anyway, uh, that's the 1963 Corvette carpet installation. And then tomorrow I'll have a video on, uh, or maybe Sunday, a video of the whole interior back in it, aside from the top, because I still got to work on the top. Uh, but the seats, console, the, the armrest, uh, everything, I like that. Anyway, peace out, people.